Hi everybody, it's Wanda. I think I'm going to do a dirty flip cup using some colors that I used in a painting a couple of videos back and see what happens. Um, I really like the color combo in that painting and that one corner, just I just absolutely loved it. So I'm gonna try for something similar to that again. Now I used this cup a few minutes ago and it still has a little bit of blue in the bottom of it and I'm gonna use it again because it takes three ounces and I don't see messing up another cup. So I have black Artist Loft mixed, one part paint, two parts Floetrol, white Artist Loft mixed, one part paint, three parts Floetrol, copper, burnt umber, phalo blue and cobalt blue and that's in my Louisiana paint. And it's mixed one part paint, two parts Floetrol. So I'm just gonna do this and see what happens. Put a little bit of black in there, not a whole lot. And on top of that, I think I'm going to go with some uh, copper. And I like the copper next to the burnt umber and then I think I'm gonna put the cobalt blue I try to pay attention to the way I layer my colors um, I think sometimes that's as important as what colors you choose I'm gonna put a layer of white over the top of that to separate it and lighten it up and this is phalo going on top of that and a little more copper. A little more burnt umber. I think that's a little thick. And some black. Right down in the middle of it to see what happens. Love seeing what happens. And that cup is completely full now. Totally full. <laughs> Can't get it any fuller. So I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Whatever time of day it is at your house, I hope you're getting a chance to relax, reflect, be grateful. There's so many things that we have to be grateful for. I'm, I'm just overwhelmed with sometimes you know the blessings that i've been given and how wonderful i am at this stage in my life very incredibly grateful for it i've had my hard times but i managed to get through them Ooh, that's a lot of white <laughs> rot row this may not be what i was going for at all I will torch the heck out of that and see if I can get some color to come through there. You know what they say about the best laid plans. What a division. Look at that big white thing right down the middle. I can tell right now I'm going to mix another cup and do something about that.
Oh, me. I don't think I put that much white in there. Foot, 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 foot. Well, this seems to be taking forever. Okay. I think it's going to roll down that side. And that one's going to on that side. Have a bald spot right there. Tap it in. Okay, this is weird. Just weird. That edge covered because it wasn't. This white edge over here isn't. I just don't understand this at all. Okay. Get some of that to roll off. Right here, I have the most beautiful, like, animal eye. Oh my goodness. See if you all can see that. It's gorgeous. All right, well, I'm gonna have to do something. Hope for the best. A little burnt umber. Copper. A little black down in there. A little blue shot down in there. That shot it right down in there. Um, I think I had a big clump right there. This reminds me of the one that I just messed up last night. Let's see what happens here. This is too strange. I don't think I've ever had this happen, especially two days in a row. Maybe I do not have my mojo back yet. Maybe that's the problem.
certainly was nothing like what I was going for. Well, foot. Since I have that all on there, um, maybe I'll leave out the burnt umber. Put some black, no. Let me think. Put some black in. Copper. Some of that phthalo blue. A little bit of white, not much. Learn a lesson. Some cobalt. Blop in there. I'm contemplating. Hang on a second. Now let's see what we get. Caterpillars. I have caterpillars. That white was, I believe, a little thinner than the other paints. And I think that really caused me an issue. I'm gonna take the rest of that white off that corner. Now, this is actually pretty. I like this one. I like this lacing that's right in here. I love the blues. Yep, this is better, much better than what I had. So, I will take the camera down and give you all a close up. I really like this, this really looks like water. And this right in here is gorgeous because it kind of blended in that corner right there. 
So I don't want to tilt it back this way anymore because I'm afraid I'll pull more of that uh, white lacing out and make it look really weird. But um, yeah, I like this one. I think this is pretty. Hope it dries pretty. So hang on a second. I'll give you a close up. Okay, this is how it looks from up top. And as you get down into there, you can see the details and the lacing, some cells. I have not used the um, torch on it. And then right in there and some more lacing on that edge. I think this is so pretty. I like the way the blue looks up against those other colors. Uh, I don't mind that little swirl in the corner. I always like those, actually. Um, right up in there looks really pretty, the way that kind of blended in that corner. It looks different than the rest of it, but I'm okay with that. So, I like it. it look, it has blue lacing in there, too. Um, I'm like a three-year-old distracted. Ooh, look. Um, thanks so much for watching. I hope y'all are having a wonderful day, and... At the end of the video, you'll see the painting dried. So thank you so much.